Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more I Am Setsuna. Let's finish going through these ruins! Oh man, snowball dudes, I hate them. They're annoying. Especially when they do their freaking handstand with the little snowball thing. And they can evade, like, either physical attacks or every attack. It's just. Just let me kill you. Let me move on with my life. Uh, Julian, I know you're back. I kind of want to do Astral Bloom. But at the same time, I don't yet. I love Luminaire! So I did that, and now I'm pretty sure I have to go back and hit the other pedestal. Ooh, another owl. Damn it, I won't be able to kill it. Uh, you. Or maybe I will! Did it hit you? Yes! The owls are so tricky, they always, like, run away. It's just like, come on, let me kill you and get the experience. Please, be kind. Um, I know there's a path to the left, but there's also something up here. I love preemptive strikes! They're the best! Yes! What? You left one dude alive? Is that guaranteed evasion? Yeah. Annoying. Sorry, I'm gonna do him. Because Radiance is amazing! Everyone's at full power. Combo power on! Yeah, she's done! Um. Yes, there was a treasure chest. Shining Oracle. What's that? Uh, makes enemy HP visible. No other beneficial effects, so useless. Maybe I could sell it. But I kind of haven't been selling talismans. Just in case, you never know. Grand Cross. If this only hits two enemies, I'll be mad. Ah, snowball still here. Ooh, there's a shiny sparkly on the bottom right corner. Yarzo. Yarzo. Radius. I love this MP like regenerating trick. It's so useful. Uh not yet. Not yet? Something down here. Oh no, that's probably the way I have to go to the get to the other pedestal, so let me go left first. Or not? Ah, oh, okay, I see what I gotta do. Now I gotta make this go the other way. So that's why I have to go down. Puzzles! Even though this path is super linear, you gotta think about the <laughs> sequence of Things you gotta hit. Okay, two still left, so I could still grand cross them. As long as they don't alight. Now, if I grand cross them. Nope, no momentum. They all gotta be momentum. They all need SP. Got it. Now I know for next time. Mmm, give me all that delicious experience. Is, isn't there gonna be a new weapon for other people? Come on. Okay, I guess I gotta hit this pedestal. That makes sense because I already crossed over. Then what's the one to the south? Mm. We'll find out. You. And hopefully it'll hit everyone. Please hit everyone. Oh my gosh, it left the snowball. You're making me mad. Going to light. Ah, oh, man. 
Guaranteed evasion. I didn't want that. I guess I'll cure to everyone. Just to give her cure of Lux to see if it happens. Radiance! Did we get any fluxes? No. Waste of time. Waste of life. Locked. There's gotta be a way we could do down? Nope! Okay, I'm gonna go down after I do this conversation thing. Oh, wonderful blood, heed my warning. What is it now? Amongst those thou leadest here, there is one alone who bears no human blood. What? This individual must be rooted out and eliminated before it is too late. Uh. Oh, Kier thinks it's him! A perplexing question. Perplexing question indeed. When my transformation was at its worst, perhaps because of the confusion in my mind. My memories of our journey are hazy, and I remember very little. But judging by your reaction, it seems that you already know the answer. You already know who it is among you that is not human. Please, I want you to collect your thoughts and each think of your answer. Let our minds be as one. Why would Eterna not be human? We're all human. Hmm. I need not even consider my answer. They are, of course, all human. So that is thine answer. Trust not, lies not in blind faith. The people shall place their trust only in one of true wisdom. Thou must consider again what makes a true king. Was that the wrong answer? Where am I? Am I back at the start of this level? Okay, so... Is Eterna really not... Human? There was no... Sign or anything of her... Not being... Human? Was there? I don't remember. Uh, she's... I mean... If anything, I would have thought that Kier would have been the choice for like... Oh, you're not human. Really? You missed the bird that was right in front of you? And you hit the snowball dudes? Well, at least I hit the snowball dudes. That was a very late reaction. Um, I don't need any momentum on this, so just kill them. Heal all my MP. Fantastico. Well, I guess don't, I don't have to backtrack far to get to the path I accidentally missed. Grand cross you. It sucks that this is only in a line, like it doesn't hit the whole area or hit all enemies. Yes, just keep doing snowball rolls. No. Well, I guess I can wait for our SP gauges to fill up. Oh my gosh, you both did it? You s annoying. Gah. Pieces of nonsense. Come on, get off. There you go. Now please hit both of them. It missed! It missed him for real? And he did snowball right again. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna have to radiance him. I'm sorry, I tried to grand cross kill everyone. It just didn't work. There we go. That was unnecessary and unpleasant. Oh wait, that was just a treasure chest. Eterna's not human? Is she a frog? <laughs> I mean, she's wearing a frog costume, so I don't want to say she's actually a frog, but... Grand cross you! I'll miss a bird, but whatever. Birds are easy. I missed the snowball dude too? This is so annoying. Grand Cross, I love you, but you're getting real annoying. Thank you. 
No, bird, come back. Bird, come back. Come closer. Okay, you know what? That'll work. We're still in the line. No, we're, we weren't. Was Eterna not in front of the snowball? What the heck? Oh my gosh, I just used Radiance and he used... Uh... Let's just grand cross him. I'm sick and tired of you. He's not dead. What the heck nonsense is this? He's still not dead. Is that what you wanted? Gosh. Sorry that battle took so freaking long. I thought I could grand cross everyone. Guess I got too greedy. Wait, no, um, that was the way up. There was something else down here, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. Possibly treasure chest? Possibly weapon? Wait, is this another way? Uh, I wish there was a map that would show you, hey, you're on this floor. Do this thing. Oh, this is the beginning. Oh, this is just a shortcut back. Ah, oh, got it. Ah, oh, hey, all the monsters respond. Will you work now? Please hit everyone. Okay, then hit the owl. It didn't hit that. Oh well, everyone's MP is healed. Paralysis. Well then, lightning. Luminaire, y'all! Oh, she didn't have SP. And charge you. Yay! She leveled up. Inventory. Crescent grass? Yes. There was a shiny. Let's go back up and answer the question. I'm gonna say Eterna this time. But why wouldn't she be human? That makes no sense. You know what? I'm just gonna radiance them all. Of course one gets left. Boom there. If he's still not dead, charge. There we go. I didn't want to wait for them to try to get into a line. That was annoying. Oh, one of royal blood, heed my warning. Let me ask you again, who's not human? Who bears no human blood? We already did this. Wait, but I don't want to root out anyone. But nobody's... I don't want to kill anyone. Please, I want you to collect your thoughts on each of you, and so let our minds be as one. But I don't want to kill her. But I said I'd pick Eterna, so Eterna. I do not need Jelly to tell me it is Eterna. Julianne. Even I do not know who Eterna truly is, but now Setsuna's spell has lifted the fog from my mind, there is one thing I do know. Eterna's magical energy is somehow different. It is not that of a human. Thou hast answered well. Once thou hast disposed of her, then I shall deem thee worthy of the throne. I am afraid we have no intention of disposing of Eterna. Of course we don't. You guys use Astral Bloom together. You are wasting your time. I shall not be disposing of her. Any attempt to induce me to do so is meaningless. And what is the reason for thine answer? I do not know who you are, but just as you refused me entry here when the transformation had me in its throes, if you had been so inclined, I am sure you could have also done away with Eterna. Seeing as you did not, that must mean you have deemed her to be no foe. Is that not so? Furthermore, I have fought alongside Eterna. She is my comrade. Whether she is human or not, she remains my ally. 
I shall never turn my blade against an ally. That has answered well. Trust is one of the qualities that make a king. And placing one's trust in others, without regard to birth or lineage, is the sign of a true king. It is in a king who is without prejudice that the people and the court shall place their trust. Yes, exactly. Engrave these words upon thy heart and continue on. Yay! Funny that I am controlling Eterna and she is not human at all. Then what exactly is she? Cause Kier's a... special thing. Special human thing. Let's grand cross this hooky! Critical hits! You're definitely dead. Yeah! So, is she a ghost or something? Is she a monster? Is she really a frog? Oh, look at them all lined up. Hooky! Please, get at least four of them. Wait, it hit all of them that time? <sighs> Makes sense about your trajectories, dudes! Okay, I wanna see what's to the right. A pedestal... Going up... What is up? What is down? Um, okay, this seems to be going further along. Maybe I should go hit up the bears first. See, this is what we mean by, like, dungeons that have different paths, but are still kind of linear. I'm gonna try luminaring them. Because look how linear this path is, but it's like, hey, you had to know, like, um, which path and which pedestal to hit first to be able to traverse through the rest of the dungeon. But no, Final Fantasy XIII is like, oh, you want different dungeon paths? Or like, hey, we're gonna make it super linear. It's stupid. Ooh, I'm sorry. Sorry that I mentioned Final Fantasy XIII out of nowhere. It's just... It was really stupid. I mean, I didn't have a problem that all the paths were super linear. But then I guess everyone complained that it was too linear. And so when they did 13-2, they're like, Okay, we'll do something else. And they made that freaking academia town with paths splitting off everywhere that don't make sense. And like, hey, go up this stairwell, now do this thing and this thing and... It made no sense. I want to punch their face. Does that make sense? I don't know, I just... Hello. I'm pressing X. It's like, look at how linear this is. It's literally like straight lines. But just the way you traverse it, the multiple options of changing paths like this, like, hey, make one path go straight, now make it go left and right. I'm going crazy, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I was just very upset with Final Fantasy XIII. I hate the XIII series. I like the characters. I hate the story and the world. The battle system was okay and interesting in the beginning, but then at the end it just... So boring. It took so long. I hated it. Why am I talking about Final Fantasy XIII when we're playing I Am Setsuna and it's much more enjoyable and so much like Chrono Trigger? Hit all three? Yes. These ruins are freaking long, also. It's like, I haven't seen a save point. And if my PS4 decides to freak out again and randomly go into rest mode, I lose everything. So, I hope that doesn't happen. Hasn't happened yet, so fingers crossed. Oh, it's not preemptive! Guess what I'm gonna do then? I'm gonna Luminaire! The reason why I'm doing Luminaire with Setsuna, even though it doesn't kill everyone, is because I want the the flux to get added to her Luminaire, Spirit Knight. 
And I got to heal people. Awesome. And now if that didn't kill everyone, I can just radiance them. There we go. So OP. Was there a path I was missing? Do I have to do something else? That was it, right? Here was like, I couldn't cross and... Yeah, I think I did everything. Okay, let's move on. Oh, one of royal blood. What's up? What you want with me now? Now let me ask you my final question. FINAL! Yes! Must a kingdom have a king? It wouldn't be called a kingdom then. Of course it must. Kingdom! You don't even need to think about this one. If you say no, you'll be rejecting the very existence of the royal family. But if you say yes, it might seem like you're only trying to justify your own claim to the throne. To the end. There's no doubt in my mind. Whether I was the bearer of the royal bloodline, or whether I was a member of a tribe of mercenaries, no doubt my answer would remain unchanged. Please, I want you to collect your thoughts and each think of your answer. Let our minds be as one. But what- Why do we also have to answer? I think- Yes. You do need a king. Yes, a kingdom needs a king. And what is the reason for that answer? When the people wish for a leader to rely on and entrust with their future, then a king is needed. In the age we now live in, the people are in constant fear of the monsters. That is exactly why a king is needed. A king must not oppress his people, he must lead them. He must lead his people away from this life of fear, and towards a future where they can live in peace and security. That is what my late father taught me as a child. Is that all? No, there is one other thing. If the majority of the people should no longer need or wish for a king, then the king should abdicate his throne in good grace. Thou truly art the successor to the teachings of the royal family. I have no more questions for thee. Continue on and carry in your heart the resolve and determination of a king. That's exactly- this game, teaching good lessons, that is exactly what a king should be. Someone who can lead the people in a just and fair way. Inventory. I feel like we're gonna fight someone. So I'm gonna tent? Wait. No, we're all healed. Never mind, I'm not gonna tent. But I will eat. Mm. Evasion rate. Physical attack power. Physical attack power. And yeah, should a time come when the people are like, we don't need a king anymore, let the people decide. Let us have our own government, let's have a democracy, then yeah, step down. Ooh, trophy. So this is the royal airship. Wow, I've never seen anything like it before. Remain vigilant. Most likely some other trial still awaits us. Thou truly art a worthy ruler. Who are you? I'm your father! I am Rydirk. I'm the kingdom's guardian, a post I have held since ancient times. I'm truly humbled. My name is Julianne. I am the rightful successor to the royal throne. If you are a kingdom's guardian, then I have but one thing to ask of you. Please, I wish for you to lend me your strength, so that I may see our kingdom restored and lead our people towards a brighter future. Do not fear, young royal. It is to serve that very purpose that my power exists. However, thou has yet to meet my final condition. Your final condition? To give the soaring ship to one who is not worthy would bring grave misfortune unto the people. Let me bear witness to your strength. Once you have surpassed me, the soaring ship shall be yours. Please, everyone. Lend me your strength. Leave it to us. Dude. I think I'm strong enough. Yeah, of course. If we went back empty-handed after coming this far, we'd be a laughing stock. Our strength is yours, Julian. Let's go, Julian. Thank you. I am in your debt. Oh, dang! Open thine eyes, steal thy heart, and ready thy lance. Power and fear are but two sides of the same sword. Justice without power is ignored, but power without justice is no more than violence. Truth! Show unto me th thy just heart. Show unto me thy just blade. Show unto me thy just rule. 
All right, so that's no. We got a luminaire. I don't have SP yet. I want to protect. Okay, guys, can you be any more vicious? Like for real? Okay, protect me. Luminaire, us. Oh, she didn't have SP. Oh, okay. They're dead. Still. Wait, Ryder has so much HP! Hi. Hi. Combo. Uh, let's X strike you. Setsuna, you cure too. I don't know if auto revive lasts forever. Creature of darkness, I summon me. Great. Uh, stop for real. Uh, panacea. Here we go. Um, oh shoot, Chrono's not ready. Not Chrono. <laughs> I'm not ready. Uh, pro no, not protect. X strike. Oh, time to heal. Let me see. Defense up. Yeah, auto revive is gone. Great. Hurt you. Are you gonna call more dudes? Combo radiance. Let's see, are we still protected? Defense up. Nope, we are not. Uh, protects me. Oh, I forgot to press square. Whoops. Come on, come on, come on, go, go, go. Radiance! I'll, uh, Luminaire, just in case. <laughs> Only 120 for real. Charge you! <laughs> Spell stream. Drain, ow. Uh, that freaking sucks. Stop attacking her, huh? Tech. Uh, no. One at a time, one at a time. I don't care if I don't have SP. Sure, too. Stop it! Okay. You can heal. Attack more than one. Panacea! Come on, build up SP, build up SP. I hope everyone still has auto revive on. Do you? Do you? Do you? I guess you don't. Well, I'm a radiant now. Oh, I killed him! Awesome. Thou art indeed worthy. Oh, I only got a momentum kill? Uh. Look how close I am to leveling up. What the freak is that? <sighs> Tech power. Yeah, sure. For hundreds of years I have waited. Waited for the coming of this day. Thou hast my blessing. Blessing. <laughs> as legitimate ruler and as rightful owner of the Soren ship. Oh, that's the ship. Everything else is just a building. Okay, I thought the whole structure was gonna be a ship. This is incredible. I can't believe a ship like this really exists. It's beautiful. Yeah, I can't take my eyes off it. Young Julienne, I pray that thou wilt become a truly worthy owner to this ship. I got the world key. I give you my word. Wait, that's the symbol that's on the locked chests. Now I can open the locked chests. This key shall awaken not only the soaring ship, but all that bears the same crust. Inside chests and behind gates, thou shalt find greater strength, and find such strength thou must. For eventually, thou must confront that which destroyed our kingdom. 
Such is the destiny of thy royal blood. Wait, what was it that destroyed our kingdom? Please, tell me! Never forget that, young royal. Well, I won't forget it, but if you told me what destroyed our kingdom, I'd be more prepared. You ever think of that? I need to heal. Uh, attack. That boss battle wasn't that bad. This airship really is amazing! Oh yeah! If you all agree, I thought we could call the ship Cure the Magnificent. I don't agree. Why would we give it a stupid name like that? This ain't your airship, you know? Of course I know that! It's gonna get a bit tedious calling it the Royal Airship all the time, though, isn't it? It's not a very lovable name, either. Don't you think, Julian? Yes, very well. You are welcome to choose a name. It was thanks to your help that I was able to win back the ship, after all. All right, thanks! Now, what should we call it? Come on, Jelly, help me think! Diange? Diangi? I'm changing it. Uh, delete! Give me my Chrono Trigger! Throwback! Epoch! Although we're not really traveling through time, so... Eh. Oh yeah, that's a great name! All right, it's settled! I hereby named this ship Epoch. A fine name indeed. Ain't that a little tacky sounding? It is the legendary airship of an ancient royal family after all. Excuse you, Epoch is a time traveling machine. We saved multiple timelines for it through it. I think it's a good name. All right, time for the Epoch to fly. Go, go, go. And we're going. Wow, looks like you don't need to be a shipwright or anything. This thing pretty much flies itself. Akash did help us out back there, so we ought to give him a ride sometime soon. Jelly, I would like you to pilot the ship. I think Jelly would be best for the job, too. He always stays calm, no matter what. Yeah, I suppose. I'm a little jealous, but I can't argue with that. So it's finally time. Yep, it's been a long journey. Hmm. Now we can finally get across. Let's go. To the last lands. Do I want to go? Or do I want to, like, revisit old places and open up all the treasure chests first? Because if I go to the end, um... Isn't that it? Like... Seriously, there's no world map? Okay, no, not that. There's no world map? There's no world map. Wait, that was the fort we came across the first time. Where's, uh, my village? That's in this village. That's where we were like, we need a ship! Is it up here? Whoa! There's a random house. Thanks for telling me the controls, guys! I'ma save first. I think I want to do a little exploring. I think I'm gonna go back, open up all the chests. And, uh, I'm really afraid of going to the last lands before being totally prepared. Well, what is this forest hut? Hello? Anyone here? Hey, old man. It's nice and quiet here, don't you think? The perfect place for making things. I'm making toys, you see, using timber from trees with strong magical energy. My son used to love toys like this before he passed away. I'll never forget his beamy face. That's really sad. Okay, but that's it? Nothing from you? Okay. Hmm. I really want to try to find my village. <laughs> and then people will be like, What are you doing here? How did you get here? Uh... Hello, village! Okay, that's blocked. Seriously, I don't have a map. I'm pushing all the buttons. No map. Is this my bit? No. This place looks familiar. Oh yeah, it's because it's that place. And 
then that's uh Kira's village. Like for reals? Why don't I get a general map? <laughs> Was this something? No, we could not even reach here. Um... This is it! This is our village! Ooh, luminous potato. I wonder what everyone's gonna say now that I'm back. What up? Welcome back. I suppose you're not really back, but I don't know what else to say. Hey, everyone. Let me ride on the airship too! Please, please, please! I still can't believe my own eyes! The sacrifice! Flying back here on an airship! If I remember correctly, there was a locked treasure chest here. Although, where was it? Starberry? That used to be my aim screen name. I never heard of a sacrifice reaching the last lands and making her way back before. Maybe things really are starting to change. But we haven't actually reached it. If only I could soar through the skies like you, sigh. If only I could do that, I'm sure I could see my wife again. That's just a feeling I get somehow. Is your wife alive? There's something special about you and your companions, isn't there, Setsuna? It's strange. I sort of had that feeling all along. Wheel mushroom. Did I never get those shinies before? I don't remember seeing them. Or it could just be me, it's been a while. Will you be able to get to the last lands then? There isn't some sort of problem, is there? I flew here on an airship, what problem would there be? Uh, dude? I'll sell everything later. Um, I wanna talk to her dada. Uncle? Dad? Oh, so, Elder. You have returned, and on a royal airship. I'm truly flabbergasted. The reason matters not. I'm so happy to see you once more. Oh my, I never thought I'd see you again, Setsuna. If I knew you were coming, I would have made some arctic cauliflower soup. Give me the recipe, and I will make it. Uh, dad. Locked treasure chest. Dad or uncle. Flying through the sky in an airship as free as a bird. Wow, just thinking about it makes me feel so excited. What an amazing journey you must be having. It is. There it is. Unlocking! Mega Elixir! Woo! Nice. Hello, lady. What? You didn't come all the way back here just to waste your time talking to me, did you? Same old little busy buddy. <laughs> she cares. Where is dad? Uncle. My dear Setsuna, here before my very eyes once more. Am I dreaming? What? That's all you're gonna say to your daughter? Did he? Did they say she? He was her dad. Hmm. Anyways, um, I think I'm going to stop this episode here. It ran a little long because I was too excited to go running around everywhere again. Um, I'm gonna spoil myself a little and see if I could go to the last lands before I explore everything, or if I should explore everything now and then go to the last lands because I would like to move the story along but I want to explore everything on this little island first before I do that so next time I'll pick off from either doing side quests or I'll head to the last lands either or we'll see what happens but anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you next time stay toasty